hi guys welcome back to the channel i welcome you to my new tutorial in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a simple christmas website using html and css so here we have a beautiful santa claus icon and we have a some nav links home gift search church and contact us and then we have a input box search your gift and then we have a get button then we have written the merry christmas and below that we have path the some text and then we have a button a beautiful hovering effect so now come for our vs code so before that if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe us so first of all we go with the html file and then we'll go for css file so in html file we have given the title christmas website b code wala which you can see in the top we have then we have linked our style.css which you can see here and then we have linked our a font family mountains of christmas so this font family we are going to use in our css so in body tag we have a header for header tag we have made a navbar with navbar class and in this we have an anchor tag in this we have placed our image logo.png so i'll show you the image logo.png which you can see here so we have imported here I will give the source code of this project in our description and please give a star on our github project so now we go for our nav links so in on order list we have given with the class nav links in this we have a list item in this list item we have a home gift church and contact us and then we have a form with id search form in this we have a input and a submit button so which you can see here the search and submit button now after that we have a s2 tag and h1 tag for merry christmas so which you can see here now we go for the paragraph so here we have written some paragraph so which you can see here now we have a button also to wish a gift for our button with a beautiful hovering effect then we go for the css file we are going for the styling our website so first of all we have imported another font family poppins in our css then in body tag we have a background image bg.png so i'll show you that image bg.png this image we are going to use in our background now we have taken the background size cover and height 100 bh for our background image then for the neighbor class here you can see that before we have taken the neighbor class for the nav so for that we have a display flex and justify content space between then we have a line item center padding 1 em and background color transparent and color of the text is white now for the logo we have a font size 1.5 em and the logo image height 50 pixel and margin left 3 are here. you can design your website according to your needs if you know css so if you don't know css there are many youtube channels are available you can go and learn from there so here i will give the project link of this source code of our project and you can go and try it out so how it's working now we go for the nav links so in nav links we have a 
this item so for the enablings we will list a tile none margin padding zero and justify content center and align item center and margin left 13 rm then for enablings with the list item we have a display inline block and padding 0.5 am and 2 am then we have a font size 1.3 rm and a font weight bold for our list then for our enablings anchor tag text data none color of the text white then for our hovering on our enablings we have a color of the text this color code and then border bottom we have a two pixel solid with this color code and transition all point four second is in out for our nav links which you can see the hovering effect for our nav links then for the search form we have a display flex and then we have a justify content center a line item center margin 20 pixel and margin left 10 years for our this search form in this search form we have a input box and get button so for the search input we we have width 150 pixel height 20 pixel border none and border radius 20 pixel padding 10 pixel on outline none then we have a box shadow for our input box then for the search button we have a width 80 pixel height 40 pixel and border none then our border radius 20 pixel and a margin left 10 pixel then we have a color of the text white and a background color then we have a cursor pointer and box shadow and a font size and font weight for our search button so it's looking so fine and then we have a hover on the background color changes to this color code then we have a web kit scroll bar none so you can see that no scroll bar are appear on the right side so now for our next two tag we have a font size 3.5 em and a text align center and a font family we have a mountain of christmas we have given the link here in our html file that font we are going to use here then we have a color of the text and then a margin bottom zero then for our font size for the h1 tag that is christmas here you can see that for that we have a font size 5 em and a text align center and the font weight 400 and a font family this cursive and then we have a color of the text then for the paragraph we have a font size 1.3 em and then a text align center another color of the text this color code and a font family cursive for our text below the christmas heading then for the button which you can see here the down with a gift button we have a margin left 45 rem and a text line center border radius 1.5 rem font size 1 rem a background color and a border none and then a padding we have a color of the text box shadow and font family poppins that we have uh, imported above in our CSS this font family poppins we have used here then we have a cursor pointer and a font weight 500 for our this we say button gift and we have a see hovering effect as well so for that hovering we have a box shadow and a background color and transform scale 1.1 and transition all 0.3 second easy now for our this beautiful background hover effect with a beautiful box shadow and background color changing so hope you guys like the video subscribe the channel and don't forget to share with your friend wish you a very happy christmas to all of you so thank you we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project thank you